Okay. Hello, everyone. So the uh, topic for the session today that I will be sharing is polycarbonate versus Trivex lenses. So what are the difference between these two amazing lenses? So in today's um, optical market, um, polycarbonate and Trivex are two of the most popular sought after lenses. Why? Because uh, these two lenses, although they share some similar um, aspect, um, they are um, have their own identity and they have a set of differences. So in this course, you, uh, we will be, uh, you guys will be learning um, what are the benefits, what are the advantages, what are the differences, and how to select the best lens based on your needs um, and your um, life and work that you that, that you are into. So before I uh, go over the um, topic, so I would love to uh, introduce myself to uh, all of you. So my name is Carl Chua. Um, I have 14 plus years in counting of uh, experience in the optical industry. Um, I started my career uh, with Essilor Canada back in 2008 in Vancouver. Um, I did different roles such as lenses, a little bit working in the lab and customer service. So currently um, I'm working for Essilor uh, Luxotica in Clearly as a quality assurance and training manager. So I oversee um, the quality of our product, um, frames and lenses and the overall um, eyeglasses that we ship out to our customers and also manage the uh, training for the new employees that are uh, starting with Clearly. Um, aside from my uh, full-time job, um, I'm also very active with the uh, College of Optician BC in British Columbia, the COBC. Um, I'm one of the uh, elected uh, board of director representing uh, Lower Mainland. And I'm also a part-time instructor with Stanford College for the Opticianry program. A licensed optician, and I have been a member of the uh, registration and the patient's relation committee with the COBC. Um, yeah, so that is a little bit about myself, and I'm really very grateful and excited to be sharing this topic, and really thank you to um, OAC for giving me this opportunity um, to share what I know in this industry with all of you. Okay, so um, description uh, for this course or session, so you will be learning the difference uh, between the polycarbonate and a Trivex lens. So what is going to be your best choice based on your needs and what are the different advantages and disadvantages of each lenses. So the learning objectives, so the outcome. So by the end of the session, um, you should be able to number one, um, understand the uh, definition and the meaning of, the, uh, of a polycarbonate and Trivex lens. Uh, number two, um, determine um, how a polycarbonate lens and a Trivex lens are made. And the comparison, the side-by-side -side comparison between a polycarbonate and a Trivex lens, what are their advantages versus their disadvantages. So I have um, prepared 12 criteria that we're going to be comparing. Which lens is the best choice. So depending on uh, your day-to-day -day activity, your work, what is going to be your best choice in terms of um, lens? And last is those uh, frequently asked questions that uh, people usually ask regarding these two types of lens. So on our first slide, so what are polycarbonate lens. So it's very important to know first, what are these lenses, right? So polycarbonate are virtually unbreakable plastic that are available in a transparent material. So before the polycarbonate lens are introduced to the um, optical industry or the optical world, polycarbonate was first famously used in the early 1960s to make the astronaut bubble helmet, right? Why? Because this is due to its known strength for a transparent material. So as you can see the pictures that I have here on the right-hand side, two astronauts, their helmet are made from the uh, polycarbonate lenses. So what more do we know about polycarbonate lenses, right? So a lens material 
that was discovered in the early 1950s and was introduced to the ophthalmic lens market um, in the 1980s. So um, it is also known as polys or PC. So this flexible plastic material was originally designed for the use of the astronaut gear or helmet visors. So polycarbonate is also a transparent thermoplastic material. So when we say thermoplastic, so it means a material that can easily be uh, melted by heat and then set aside to be cooled and then it's going to be hard uh, material again. So it's a highly impact resistant and famous for standing up to forces that would shatter other lens material. So if we're going to compare polycarbonate as to other plastic like 1.5 index, the 1.6, 6.7 or 7.4. So polycarbonate is considered the high, the highly impact resistant as compared to them. So polycarbonate lenses are also durable and lightweight as compared to base level lenses, right? Um, they offer 10 times more impact resistance than regular plastic lenses. Right, so after entering the market, so polycarbonate has become the standard for all children's and sports eyewear, as well as uh, commercial safety uh, glasses. And last, polycarbonate is also used for different lens um, design and materials, such as um, we have polarized lenses, we have photochromic lenses, and um, most sunglass lenses. So now we go with Trivex lenses. So what are Trivex lenses, right? So Trivex was originally um, developed for military use by the PPG Industries. So PPG Industries, also known as the Pittsburgh Plate and Glass Company. So they are very, very well known. Actually, they're a global supplier of paints, coatings, and other specialized um, material. Right, so it was originally used uh, for the military, for the fighter jet windshield, visual armors, and other uh, military applications. Why? Because of its um, strength and the um, power of this uh, lens. So um, other important um, facts that we need to know about Trivex is, number one, it is a newer material that was developed in 2001 by PPG Industries. So Trivex was originally developed for the military use as seen in the uh, previous slide for the military windshield, visual armors and other military applications. Right, so the material was given the name Trivex because of its three main properties, right? So number one, um, it's good in optics. Number two, lightweight, and third, for its strength, right? That's why it is uh, mainly used for the uh, military um, applications. So Trivex is the lightest lens material available in the market, in the optical market right now. So it is also known to be the best material for drill and groove rimless frame. So if you are looking for a rimless frame, um, Trivex is going to be your top option uh, why? Because um, Trivex does not crack um, on the drill mount, right? So um, crack, um, cracking on the drill mount is also known as the spider crack or the spider web crack. Um, this is usually due to um, if the lens is soft or if the lens un undergoes some uh, hole elongation on the um, drill mount, right? But with Trivex, um, this is usually not the case. That's why at the end of the day, Trivex is usually the best uh, material um, recommended for any um, rimless frame. So Trivex can also pass ANSI standard Z87.1, which is the test requirement for all safety glasses. And Trivex does not only pass the test at 2.0 center thickness, but it can also even pass at center thickness of 1.0 millimeters. So this is just saying that Trivex is just a material that is very strong and uh, highly, highly recommended, uh, especially for the rimless frame.
So after um, learning the definition and the attributes of the, the polycarbonate lens and the uh, Trivex. So now I want to share with you on how are actually this lens is made. So what are the process that, poly, uh, that a polycarbonate lens or a Trivex lens undergo, right? So with polycarbonate lens, um, let's start with the raw material, right? So it all starts with the granules of uh, polycarbonate lens. Um, a, a transparent plastic material in the past, lenses used to be made from actual glass. Now most are made from a tougher plastic material. So polycarbonate lens is light, impact resistance, and has a great refractive index. So when we talk about refractive index, it is a measurement on, of how much a material bends light. So the higher the refractive index, allows a lens to be made thinner. So the most important part here is what is the process that the polycarbonate lens undergo, right? So the process is what we call injection molding, right? So the granules are heated until they melted in an oven. The liquid polycarbonate is then transported into a mold, compressed under high pressure, then the molded materials turns into a solid lens. So technicians, some technicians also use pressure to inject the melted polycarbonate lens into a block mold. So the molds are shaped to create different lens design as we know spherical, aspherical, wherein the lens is going to be much made more thinner and some progressive lenses, right? So in the less advanced manufacturing process, this step would be used to make a lens blank other uh, known as the uh, hockey puck shape or plastic that will later be shaved down into the correct prescription, right? So if the lens um, are those hockey puck, then it would definitely need to go uh, surfacing in which it will uh, be shaved to the correct desired prescription of the patient. So if a polycarbonate lens undergo uh, injection uh, molding uh, process, so let's see what uh, process Trivex lens uh, undergo. So with the raw material, uh, Trivex is a urethane-based pre-polymer made from the layers of polymers. So Trivex lenses are composed of a urethane-based monomer. Um, they are usually very rigid material and are made from cast molding process like how regular plastic lenses are made. Um, this in return gives Trivex lenses the advantage of crispier optics than injection molded polycarbonate lens according to PPG. So the process that the Trivex lens undergo is what we call cast molding. So this employs a force of gravity to introduce the material into the mold. So the material is generally poured into a mold rather than injected at a high pressure. So the Trivex lenses are manufactured to withstand internal stress that is associated with most polycarbonate lenses. So internal stress can also cause lens breakage, right? So lenses made from Trivex are very chemical resistant. They are even resistant to acetone. So the three most important things to know here or to remember because of the uh, cast molding process that the Trivex undergoes, top three, Advantage right away with Trivex here is number one, uh, crispier optics because it is um, um, because it is made from a cast molding as compared to the injection uh, molding that a polycarbonate lens undergoes. Number two, it can withstand internal stress, and third is the chemical resistance that the Trivex has as compared to a polycarbonate lens, right? So chemical resistance, meaning um, it can resist to those acetone, alcohol. So if you happen to uh, clean your lens with, the, with uh, acetone or um, alcohol, um, you will be um, protected, you know, by the uh, Trivex lens because um, the lens will not get, the lens will not be easily damaged as compared to other lens material. Okay, so 
let's go with the side-by-side -side comparison between the Trivex and the polycarbonate lens. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of these two lenses based on 12 criteria that I have on the um, first column? So we are going to be talking about number one, the index of refraction. So number two, thickness, three, weight, and the density or the specific gravity, the Abbey value. I have two asterisks here because I want to elaborate Abbey value, which is uh, one of the um, um, advantages of the Trivex on the next slide. We also have the optical clarity, the impact resistance, the scratch resistant, UV protection, cost, the lens availability, and the tensile strength. So number one, let's go. Let's start with the index of of refraction. So when we talk about index of refraction or the refractive index, so this is a measurement number on how efficient the uh, lens will bend light, right? So the um, higher the index of refraction, um, the slower the light travels and more bending occurs. And with this, the lens can be made thinner. So if we're going to compare Trivex with an index of refraction of 1.53 as compared to polycarbonate with an index of refraction of 1.59. Polycarbonate lens will definitely provide you a much thinner lens. I would say 10% slightly thinner than the Trivex. It's not going to be that much, but still it's going to be 10% thinner. Why? Because of the index of refraction of 1.59, which is greater than 1.53. So if we're going to talk about thickness level, um, Trivix is going to be around 10% uh, thicker as compared to a polycarbonate lens. Side-by-side -side comparison, let's say for example, you have like a minus four prescription with a Trivix, minus four prescription with a polycarbonate lens. Um, polycarbonate lens will be 10% thinner as compared to Trivix. Uh, regarding weight, uh, Trivix is going to be lighter and polycarbonate lens will be heavier. The uh, density or the specific gravity of a Trivex is at 1.1 versus polycarbonate lens, which is at 1.2. So best choice for in, in terms of um, if you want um, something that a lens that is going to be light, if you are buying a um, rimless frame because you, want, you don't want the um, heavy frame and you want to equip it with the, uh, uh, a frame that is very light. So Trivex is one of your best option. So when we talk about Abbey value, um, Trivex has an Abbey value of 43 to 45 and polycarbonate lens has an Abbey value of um, 30. So what is Abbey value? So Abbey value is, um, Abbey value is a measurement of the lens dispersion of light which is very, very, very important for lenses, right? So the lower the Abbey value, the um, more chances of um, dispersion that can lead to unwanted chromatic aberration, right? So a chromatic aberration is also a, dis uh, is also a distortion due to the inability of the light to focus all colors in one single point. Um, I know it's going to be a lot um, technical, but on the next slide, I have the Abbey value just, um, you know, explaining the Trivex and the polycarbonate lens. So being said, um, polycarbonate lens have a Abbey value of 30 as compared to Trivex, which is 43 to 45 in terms of the optical clarity. So Trivex will be more clear, will have more superior than polycarbonate lens. So polycarbonate lens is less, is going to be less superior in terms of clarity. Um, Trivex is definitely going to be your best choice, right? So impact resistance, right? Um, both of the lenses, um, uh, fortunately, both of them are known to be impact resistant lenses, right? So Trivex and polycarbonate lens, both of them are uh, impact resistance. For the scratch resistance, um, I have here as a mid-level, right? So polycarbonate lens material is known to be softer, right? So, and Trivex material is known to be um, better 
or more scratch uh, resistance, but it is highly, highly recommended that an added um, scratch resistant coating be applied to either a polycarbonate lens or a Trivex lenses. That will make your lens last longer and um, you know better vision with no um, scratches in front of your eye. So in terms of UV protection, so the good thing is both of them have a UV have have a hundred percent UV protection against the sun at three hundred ninety five nanometers. So um, these are built in within the lens, so you don't need to add extra UV protection. Rest assured that these two lenses have have an inherent uh, UV protection um, on their lenses. So when we talk about cost of the lens. So Trivex is going to be more expensive than the polycarbonate lens and poly is going to be cheaper than Trivex. Why? Because um, polycarbonate lens has a wide variety of lens design. Polycarbonate lens uh, right now is more popular than Trivex because of its um, availability. And Trivex are, um, have less availability, uh, making it more expensive, right? So when we talk about tensile strength, and at the very last, so this refers to the uh, load or stress that the material can um, handle before it fractures or before it breaks. So uh, Trivex has um, strength of a 61.2 as compared to 44.9 of a polycarbonate lens. So uh, right then and there, you know that um, Trivex is definitely um, in terms of um, strength and power. Trivex is going to be your best option. So these are the uh, 12 um, criteria um, as we compare them side by side. Um, definitely Trivex has an edge over polycarbonate lens, but polycarbonate lens has some advantages uh, in terms of the, um, the availability and the cost. Right, so on to the next slide. So Abbey value. So Abbey um, value again um, for Trivex, we have 43 to 45 as compared to polycarbonate lens, which is um, at 30. So again, so Abbey value is a number that tells us how much chromatic aberration will result if the material is used as a lens. So the lower Abbey value yields greater chromatic aberration and a higher Abbey value yield less chromatic aberration, right? So um, what is chromatic aberration? So it's also known as color fringing, right? So it's a common optical problem that occurs with the lens um, that is enabled to uh, bring all the wavelength of colors to the same focal plane, um, or when the wavelengths of colors are focused um, on different position on the focal plane. So this costs this is caused by the lens dispersion uh, with different colors of light traveling at different speed while passing through the lens. So in this picture that you see here on the right-hand side, so this is an example of a lens without any chromatic aberration or what we can say that, you know, a person will not be experiencing it because it is virtually undetected. So you can see different colors of light uh, passing through the lens and all of them are meeting at one focal point, right? So they are very organized, meeting at one focal point. And if the lenses are going to be focusing, if all the um, colors of light are going to be focusing on one focal point, and then there's no chromatic aberration, so the person wearing the, wearing the uh, glasses will not have any um, distortion, right? Which is really good. This is something that we don't want. But on, the, but on the other hand, um, the image below, and this is an example of a lens that's a, that has a chromatic aberration, right? So what really happens? So the colors um, pass through the lens, and instead of focusing at one focal point, you see the colors focusing on different direction. And uh, this will certainly, um, you know, be very annoying to the uh, patient or the customer wearing the glasses. And this is what we call like a chromatic aberration, right? So lenses 
made from Trivex have an Abbey value of 43 to 45 as compared to uh, Poly, which is at 30. So the high Abbey value of a Trivex material mean that the color aberration is virtually undetectable by the patient who wears them, right? So um, definitely a person wearing a Trivex lenses will, will uh, have a better um, optical clarity on their lenses. They're going to be see, uh, they're going to see much better with no distortion as compared to um, polycarbonate lens. So for a patient, right, it's very rare uh, for them to be mentioning about you know chromatic aberration, color fringes, because this is something that um, they really don't understand. Um, what they will usually say to the opticians or to the eyewear um, provider is something like. I cannot see out of these on my glasses. Something is not right. I see some colors, some rainbows. Um, it is really bothering. Um, it is really bothering my eye. So it definitely, this is something that is very frustrating to the opticians um, or to the eye care provider that your patient is experiencing when there is an aberration because this is something that can interfere with the performance of their glasses. Right. This is the reason why I brought this Abbey value up because this is very, very uh, important um, advantage that the Trivex has um, over the uh, polycarbonate lens. So we, when we talk about impact resistant, right? So both Trivex and both polycarbonate lens, lens, both of them are considered to be impact resistant lens. So what do we mean? by a lens that is impact resistance, right? A material or a product's ability to absorb shock without breaking. And this should um, pass the ANSI Z87.1, which is the standard for safety eyewear. So when we talk about impact resistance, right? Trivix and polycarbonate lens, they are really best and recommended for um, children. Right, so children who are very active um, in their day-to-day -day activities, they're in school, they're running around, they play sports. So definitely, we would highly recommend, uh, highly uh, recommended, um, giving them a polycarbonate lens or a Trivex. So active adults into sports, those people who are playing tennis, they're playing a squash. Um, we need to make sure that you know. Um, recommending them to get a polycarbonate lens or a Trivex to protect their eyes, right, from, uh, from the sports that they're playing. And last but not the least are safety glasses, right? So for people who are working in a harsh environment, um, they're into construction, um, safety glasses is definitely very important. And as far as I know, it's one of the um, recommended before you actually um, work in those fields. So what are the difference between a Z 87 versus a Z87 plus, right? So Z87, so uh, this is more of a like a basic standard for um, for the um, safety eyewear, right? So we call this one Z87 impact testing. So for a safety eyewear to pass Z87 standard, it must pass the drop ball test. So this test is involving a uh, steel ball with a 2.4 ounce being dropped from a height of 50 inches, right? For the lenses to pass, the lens must remain intact, right? The lens might, should not be, should not crack or fracture. And Z87 plus, on the other hand, is a higher impact um, standard for safety glasses. So this is going to be more, um, it has to pass more um, tests. So there are two types of tests. You have the high mass test, which a test that consists of dropping a 500 gram pointed weight from a height of 50 inches um, into the lens that are mounted on a head form. So to pass the test, no pieces from the frame or lenses uh, should break free or fracture. And the other um, test is what we call the high velocity test. So this test involves a 1.4 steel inch ball being shot at 20 different impact points. Um, again, to pass the test, no pieces from the frame or lenses uh, should break, right? So these are the uh, impact resistance um, tests and standards 
that um, fortunately that uh, polycarbon lens and Travix lenses um, are known for. So having um, gone through the different uh, slide, uh, talking about the uh, definition of a polycarbonate lens versus Trevix, our side-by-side -side comparison um, with the 12 criterias and knowing what are their advantages and disadvantages. So what I have here is um, summary guidelines of which lens is the best choice. Right, so a couple of things that we should uh, remember. Uh, Trivix and Poly are very similar in most aspects, right? But Trivix has a few advantages that make it a superior material. So choose Trivix if you want exceptionally, exceptionally clear vision with highly durable lenses, but can afford to, play, to pay a slightly higher um, for your glasses. Right, so um, as we mentioned, Trivex has the highest Abbey value as compared to a polycarbonate lens. This will definitely provide Trivex the advantages of having a more clear vision as compared to a polycarbonate lens. But again, it's going to be much more expensive than um, polycarbonate lens. So if you're looking for a wider lens and prescription assortment, like different lens coating, design, polycarbonate lens is going to be your best choice. Why? Because Trivix has a very limited prescription ranges as for now, right? So uh, if you're talking about, um, you know, like sunglass lens, uh, photochromic lenses, uh, different coatings, different design, and the ranges of the prescription. So polycarbonate lens will definitely be, um, will definitely provide you much more option as compared to Trivex. So one of the disadvantage of the polycarbonate lens is it is naturally a soft material causing it to scratch much easier, right? But, you know, it doesn't end there. Um, as I mentioned, as a scratch resistant coating is highly recommended, right? So Trivix is the lightest material available. So it is a very good partner with the rimless frame. So you typically people who wanted a rimless frame is because they, you know, one of the reason is they wanted a frame that is very light and uh, matching it with the Trivix lens, which is, which is the best ideal lens for a rimless frame is going to give, is going to provide you um, a light, you know, a lighter lens with a lighter frame. So Trivex is resistant to uh, is resistant to common household chemicals like alcohol and acetone. Right? So if you mistakenly um, grab an alcohol or acetone to clean your lens, which we should not, um, Trivex uh, will not easily damage as compared to other lens material, which is very, um, you know, um, doesn't um, uh, like polycarbonate lens, which is a material that that does not like those uh, harsh chemicals. So <clears throat> another advantage that Trivex has over polycarbonate lens it, um, is that it can easily be tinted, right? So um, if you're working in the lab, uh, you probably know that a polycarbonate lens, although it can be tinted, um, it's going to be more challenging as compared to a Trivex. So for higher prescription, if you have, let's say, for example, a minus six, minus seven, right? So polycarbonate lens is the better option due to its thinner appearance and wider prescription ranges. So as we mentioned, the index of refraction um, of a polycarbonate lens is 1.59. The uh, Trivix is 1.53. This um, provide or this makes 
um, polycarbonate lens to be at least 10% thinner in appearance in the cosmetic appearance as compared to a uh, Trivix lenses. So Trivix and Poly are both great for rimless frame and those uh, frames requiring drill mount screws throughout the lenses. So again, um, the uh, recommended is Trivix, but if Trivix is not available due to the prescription or the lens design that you want, um, polycarbonate lens is definitely going to be the other best option that you have. Um, some key points to remember, right? So polycarbonate lens are popular for a good reason, right? So the lenses are strong and yet it is widely available. So it is not a surprise that they're one of the most common and affordable choices for people who need prescription glasses and safety lenses, right? So most eye doctor would uh, suggest getting a polycarbonate lens made for children and adults who are who live in a very active lifestyle. Lifestyle. So if you are doing a field work and are constantly exposed to hazards, you can benefit from wearing a polycarbonate lens or a Trivix lens. For safety glasses, so what we need to make sure is to check for the Z87 markings uh, on your glasses, right? So that will, uh, you know, that will give you the, um, the um, confirmation that your glasses are indeed uh, for safety because it passed all those um, safety tests um, that according to Z87.1 is needed um, for uh, safety glasses. So Trivex offers best impact resistance, lightweight, and has the low chromatic aberration when compared to polycarbonate lens. So it is the best material for rimless frame because it resists cracking during mounting. And last but not the least is the most important um, in choosing the right lens, always consider the benefits in safety over cost, right? So we always say that we only have one pair of eyes. We definitely need to protect our eyes. We need to, uh, you know, see better, um, choosing the right lens, um, depending on your day-to-day -day activity, your work, your lifestyle is something that uh, we should consider. Um, over cost. Okay, so I have two more slides um, remaining. Um, some frequently asked questions um, from our patients, from our customers regarding um, polycarbonate lens and Trivex. I hope I can answer everything, but um, anyway, here are some um, frequently asked questions. So we have one. So how can you tell the difference between a polycarbonate lens and a Trivix lens? So there's a simple technique to differentiate between the two. So actually there's two. So if you're working in a lab, um, you, you are probably um, have an idea on edging. So if you try to edge the lens, uh, a polycarbonate lens by hand, um, if it has strips attached to the edge, it's definitely a polycarbonate lens. Even though, um, even though when you do, um, when you use the edging machine, right? Polycarbonate lens will always leave a residue of those uh, strips of plastic. So when you happen to hit it with a hammer, if it doesn't break and bounce, it's a polycarbonate lens, right? If it's just a regular plastic, um, the lens will um, shatter. And the other, a way of checking is when you drop the lens, um, polycarbonate lens will, def will have a higher pitch sound um, as compared to a plastic, which um, have a low pitch sound. So how do you clean? So how do we clean a Trivex or a polycarbonate lens? So cleaning lenses, whether it's a Trivex or a polycarbonate lens, um, is not uh, different from other lens. So here are some of the recommended um, cleaning procedures that we should always remember for our lens to last longer and to um, prevent from scratching. Um, we would definitely rinse with uh, warm soapy water, um, always use a mild detergent, uh, do not use harsh chemicals like those acetone or um, um, alcohol, rinse with clean, clear water, and after that, um, we always have to use some clean microfiber cloth 
Why? Because this will prevent from scratching and smearing on glasses that get debris of the lens effectively, right? So if you're planning to use like um, paper towel or your shirt, that is, um, you know, there's going to be some potential um, consequences because it can scratch your lenses, right? So mic microfiber cloth is your best choice when cleaning your lenses. So do Trivix, do Trivix lens block blue light? So Trivix lenses won't be able to block blue light. However, uh, most lab can add blue light coating to the lens to block uh, blue light and combat, combat the effects of digital eye strain. So what is the difference between a Trivex and a high index lens, right? So Trivex possess a low um, index of 1.53, like standard plastic, which is at 1.49 or 1.5. So when we talk about high index, we're talking about 167 and 1.74, making it thinner than Trivex. However, there's no difference in their scratch resistant properties. Um, as uh, we mentioned, um, scratch resistant coating is highly recommended for all um, lenses. So does poly or Trivex need UV coating? So the good part here is polycarbonate lens and Trivex lens does block 100% of the sun's UV at uh, 395 nanometers without the need of special UV blocking uh, coating. Why? Because it is um, in, um, built in within the lens itself. Um, yeah, so number six, um, is Trivex resistant to chemicals? Uh, yes, so Trivex features extreme resistance to common household cleaners such as acetone, window cleaners, and isoprofil alcohol, right? Um, this is due to the um, process that um, Trivex um, are made. But again, um, the proper way of um, cleaning our lenses is we try not to um, clean it with harsh chemicals. So how do Trivex lens work? So Trivix lenses work by bending light that allows eyes to see clearly, right? So the manufacturing process and the material use makes Trivix lenses reduce optical aberration re resulting to clear vision, right? So if you remember the Abbey value that we have discussed on the previous slide, which uh, Trivix um, has the uh, one of the highest Abbey value making it um, resistant to uh, those distortion and um, uh, the patient should be able to see clearly without uh, any distortion. So what is the best impact resistant lenses, right? So both Trivex and polycarbon lens are impact resistant, um, but for safety eyewear, the Z87 marking should always be printed and visible on the glasses. So that is something that you want to look out for. So what is better than Trivex? Right, so if we're talking about the lens thickness, right, so polycarbonate lens has a higher um, index of refraction, which is at 1.59. So polycarbonate lens is going to be about 10% thinner than Trivix, right? So aside from that, um, should I get Trivix or high index um, lens? So it really depends on your prescription, right? And the choices that you want, because high index lenses, um, like uh, 1.67 or 1.74 um, definitely um, have more option in terms of the prescription ranges. Um, it has the more option of the lens sizes. The lens are going to be um, bigger if you're wanting to um, get a frame that is uh, for sunglasses that is quite big. Um, high index is um, much more um, available in terms of the option. And of course, the colors for the tints um, and for the polarized lenses, right? So that, um, so I, those are the uh, frequently asked questions that are coming from our customers, from our patient. So if there, if there are any other questions that you have, um, feel free to uh, send me an email. Uh, my email is at carlkelvin at yahoo.com. And before I end, I would uh, take this opportunity to um, thank you, um, the OAC and all of you uh, for uh, spending that um, 
an hour or less than an hour um, in learning the difference between the uh, poly polycarbonate lens and trivix.